229 of Fleck, James Fleck, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent. Today, I will be reviewing an action thriller film that came out in 2002 that is directed by Doug Lehman, and that stars Matt Damon, Franco Potente, and Tim Dutton, and that movie is The Born Identity. Okay, so this movie has just started, and so far we just saw someone being treated for gunshot wounds on board a ship. That sounds to me like a truly treacherous situation right there. We have now shifted to cold, snowy Zurich, Switzerland. And we are also really seeing our main character, Jason Bourne, who, just so that you know, is played by Matt Damon. My, is Jason Bourne currently having to be on the run? Let's just hope that he can escape his pursuers. Well, Jason Bourne wound up making a lucky escape, thank goodness. Now he is in a car with Marie Kroot, a secondary character played by Franco Potente. Paris, France is where we have now shifted to. Ooh la la. Furthermore, Jason Bourne is contacting a hotel there through the phone and inquiring about some names on his passports. Wow! We just witnessed some pretty intense gunfire action, and Jason Bourne is also throwing some punches at his enemies. Jason Bourne is doing some pretty dangerous driving from what we are seeing. Fortunately, I have some people in my family who can do much safer driving than that. Jason Bourne just took a phone call in a phone booth. Interestingly enough, ever since this movie came out in 2002, there haven't been any phone booths left, I would say. Now he is out at the French countryside at the house of Marie Croats' friend Eamon, who is played by Tim Dutton. That was quite the fiery explosion that we just saw, but luckily Jason Bourne was lucky enough to get away from it before it happened. We are now seeing flashbacks from Jason Bourne's past, and some of which involved him having a gun in his hand. Man, Jason Bourne is pretty deadly when he has got a gun, and he is also good at dodging flying bullets as well. As we get closer to the end of this movie, Jason Bourne and Marie Croods have now reunited, and all is well for both of them after all that mayhem that they endured. Overall, The Bourne Identity is an action-packed thriller that is exciting but also violent. Join me next time when I review Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm Fleck James Fleck, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there. Thank <laughs> you.